Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a new video. I want to teach you guys how you can make the green screen scribble effect and where I get my inspiration. Well, some of it anyway. Um, it's a little girl here on YouTube. I do not know how to pronounce her name, but this is her channel right here. She has a lot of good content. Go check her out. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on into this video. And um, the first thing you're going to need to do if you don't already have it is go to your app store and download Fonto. This one right here, the P with the little pencil, Fonto. And PixArt right there with the P, multicolored. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into Fonto. You're going to go down and click on the camera. And you're going to click on plain image right there. And then you're going to go over and click on the white box right here. And you're going to go to the top right here where it says 2048 times 2048. You're going to click on that and scroll down to you see iPhone 7 Success Plus 6 Plus and click on the landscape mode right there. And go down here where it says color and click on color. Slide over until you get to you see the green. And I'm going to click on this third one right here. Oops. That's the third one, more like the second one, and I'm going to brighten it up some. Um, and then I'm going to go up and save it and apply it. Go ahead and get this to save, use and save. And then I'm going to go down here to right here again and save this to my device. And it now has been saved successfully to my device. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into Fonto right here. Click on Fonto, go down to the bottom right here and click on this little plus button, the pink plus button. I'm going to click on edit right here on your left. Oh, sorry about that, I've got a few things I'm working on. Then you're going to slide over to your right until you find the draw button right here. Click on that draw button. Then you have a lot of options down here. You have the pencil, the eraser, layer, shapes, you have a lot of different options across the bottom. The first thing we're going to start with is color. I'm going to pick a color just for the purposes of this video. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go with purple. And I'm going to go ahead and check that mark. And I'm going to um, go into here to the pencil and in here you have a lot of different options available too. Different strokes and you know you have the star and squigglies and the leak effect and you know, how you'd like them to look, how thick, how thin, you know, how shadowed. You have a lot of different effects of it. Me, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to probably just go ahead and push that out. Maybe right in there. Then you got this one that separates it, but I'm not going to do that. I could do this, but I kind of like that right there. You have a lot of options in there. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, you know, that way you can go ahead and play with the app and get to know it. Um, and then you're going to go up here to the top where these options are and click on the record button because this is going to record the screen. And you just start drawing just like this. And you can go right over here and click back and you could change the color of what you were just you know, the color you were just drawing with and just keep going. Um, maybe come down here and add a shape on top of that. Um, I think I will go with triangle. And you can change, you know, if it's PNG or not. Um, I think I'll change it um, black. Okay. So now we have a black triangle in there, and you can bounce it around, and the screen will record. And you just hit the back button, and you know, you can keep going, you can change your colors, go into a pink, and just you can bounce the triangle around the screen, flip it around, and put it out. And then you can go back down to the brush, click on your brush, and just keep going. 
But I thought this was really interesting and I quite found it quite useful and really wanted to show it to you guys. So now I'm going to go up here and click on the record again and I'm going to stop it. Click again and I'm going to export the video just to, show it. And just to show you guys what it looked like. And you have a lot of options down here. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, email. Save it to your photos. Let's see what this looks like. So far I think that it looks pretty good. Like I said, you know, you could change it up. There's a lot of different shapes, colors, sizes, you know. And then you would just click done when, you know, you're done viewing and this is, you know, what you're wanting. Okay. I'm satisfied with this for now. So I'm going to go ahead and just click done. And you would click, you know, down here, one of the options that you want to use. And that's it. And again, this is April with Work at Home Mommy. And I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and the bell right next to it so you can get updated on all of my videos. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Um, and you have an awesome day.